delicious Singapore hawker foods at Old Airport Road Food Center. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we are at Old Airport Road Food Center to do another ultimate food guide. The ultimate hawker food guide to Old Airport Road Food Center, which is a well-loved and a place which has a very good food center. So, what are you waiting for? Join me after the intro as I show you all the food that we can find here. Really, after the intro, you'll meet me back here. Welcome back. So this is the Old Airport Road Food Center, a very well-loved food center. And it was built in 1972 to actually resettle the street hawkers that was actually operating in the Kalang Estate. And from then until now, this place has gone through many changes, even upgrades most recent in 2006-2007 and throughout the years it has still remained one of the best places to enjoy hawker food Singapore hawker food street food because this place here does serve a wide variety of delicious mouth-watering dishes and also served at reasonable prices and this place here because of its proximity to the city it has also made it a place where a lot of people do come here to have their meals and with over 160 food stores this place is one of the larger food centers hawker centers in Singapore and the place that you must visit if you are secret if you are serious about Singapore food culture you're serious about street food you're serious about hawker food this is a place that you must visit and when you visit here you'll be pleased with the wide variety of different different types of street food they can find here so what I'm gonna do today and in the next few videos I'll be introducing to you all the good food that you have to try when you come here and there is many 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 choices for you to decide before you come here of what to eat all you have to do is just watch my videos the first store that we'll be visiting today is actually this store called Rose Paradise it's not an old school store here but it has been here for many years now and nowadays it has grown to have a following and if you do come here during lunch time, there is actually a queue for their roast meat. And what people actually come here for is their char siu or their barbecue pork. And that is one of the specialties at this store here where they actually cook the meats in the store here. And what I ordered from this store is their char siu rice with added char siu. Uh, if I just ordered one portion of char siu, it will cost me $4. This one here with two portions of char siu, cost me five dollars and fifty cents one difference than other char siu rice is first of all the rice here the rice here is not normal white rice it's actually a uh, chicken rice yes chicken rice which they do it quite well just that for my own personal taste it was slightly too garlicky for me but other than that the rice is good but what people come here for is their char siu and as you can see the char siu here the skin the shell the surface area there they do it very very nicely the meat is nice soft and tender and a bit fatty also and then the outside skin the shell the layer here is sweet it's savory it's fatty it's porky nicely caramelized smoky they do it very well very nice and what you need to do is you see there there's actually a small little sauce of char siu sauce 
this sauce here, you actually have to pour it onto the char siu because the meat by itself is too a bit too salty and a bit too fatty. This sauce here will help to cut through some of the fattiness and saltiness and goes very well with the meat. So here, like I said, char siu done very well. The only issue I have is that if you want to finish all the rice, uh, one portion of char siu is not enough. Yeah, but other than that, good char siu rice. Next up is another very popular store here called Nam Sing Hokkien Fried Mi. And here, this store here is an old school store, has been around for a very long time. A lot of people come here to order takeaway. So when you come here during lunchtime, be prepared to wait if you want to eat. But they do a very delicious, very yummy uh, fried Hokkien prawn mi. And here is the dish. The normal portion cost me $5. And first of all, it's a very delicious, very well done plate of noodles. The smell coming up from the noodles here is, will drive you crazy. You have a very nice delicious seafood broth that is absorbed into the noodles. They use two types of noodles here, the normal egg noodles and also a thinner bihun noodles which helps to absorb a lot of the seafood broth. And the noodles here cooks in the wok and there's a very nice wok flavour and smell to the noodles. And normally the noodles is not soupy but somehow this time when I ordered it, it was a bit soupy. So normally, when you order this dish, it will not be so soupy. As you can see now, this is how uh, normally when you order this, you get this like this. The shop here, sometimes their standard are not as consistent as other places. But like I said, because uh, they do huge numbers in a row. So the best time to come to eat here is either early um, before the lunch crowd or slightly after the lunch crowd before they close but i must say one thing first if you come to this store if you're expecting to have a great plate of fried noodles fried prawn noodles then you will not be disappointed by this dish but if you come here expecting to have the normal prawn noodle which is very soupy it's touchy and you slurp up the noodles then I suggest you I suggest for you uh, that this may not be the prawn noodle for you if you go uh, to the front there there's another shop called EG fried prawn Hokkien Mee that version may be the, the version that you will like and this is also one of the places where, uh, one of my favorite uh, fried Hokkien prawn Mee noodle places that I like to come and eat but I don't come here often because, like I said, the queue sometimes is uh, too long a wait. And another popular place for breakfast especially is this place here called Freshly Made Chi Chong Fan. Here, they sell noodles, they sell porridge and they also sell Chi Chong Fan, which is uh, rice noodles. And then they put in maybe prawn, char siu or different types of ingredients as you can see here here are the different types of ingredients and prices and then they wrap it up so what i did was um, each of these uh, chi chong fan cost me 250 i have two versions here the char siu and the prawn so what's really good here the first thing is that when you order the dish they will start making it for you fresh so you have fresh chi chong fan each time when you order it and then when you eat the chi chong fan the chi chong fan is nice soft and tender but what is really nice also is the nice sweet soya sauce that they put it that they that you soak this chi chong fan in which gives it a really nice sweet and savory flavor and mmm like I said, nice and tender. But what's really also is nice is the sambal. 
that you can eat together with the Chee Cheong Fun which gives it the extra kick, the extra flavour which is also a good combination together with this Chee Cheong Fun when things are freshly made to order there and there oh it just adds another layer of freshness of quality of yumminess when you eat this Chee Cheong Fun so if you do come here early, you want to have something to stack on, you know, or you like Chee Cheong Fun, this is a good place to try because here they do a good Chee Cheong Fun. And I also went back another time to try again the uh, Chee Cheong Fun, but this time I tried instead to put in um, Century Egg. Like the first time, they make it fresh for me, so you have nice. Chi Chong Fun, the noodles, nice and soft and tender together with the delicious sauce that goes very well together with everything and with the sambal chili which gives it the extra oomph and then you have their porridge which is nice and smooth um, done quite well, it's just that nothing really extraordinary about it just quite normal but a good combination together Another of my favorites here is this place called Wuji Kitchen. I actually first tried their dish here at Holland Drive, but they have a branch here too. So I like to come here when I'm here to also eat the dish, the noodle. So what happens is I order from this noodle, this place, uh, their Mi Bok, which is flat egg noodles, uh, $3 portion, and here it is. Or three dollars is quite good so you get a nice bowl of noodles and then you have some fish balls some fish cake in soup and here the noodles they cook it quite nicely and they also mix in the sambal which is one of the key features of their particular noodle dish is but one thing I really really like here is the noodles first of all is good they cook it well it has a nice uh, spike to it but what i really enjoy what i come back here for is the taste and the combination of the sambal together with the noodles it has a very clean and spicy flavor to it which the interplay of the flavors in your mouth between the sambal and the noodles is really really enjoyable and then it's oily enough and spicy enough and the sambal there flavors the noodles very nicely and then you have the other dish here which is the, where is the soup the soup here cooked very well i think it's a, some kind of fish soup then you have the uh, fish cake and then you also have the fish ball which they actually make in store and not in store I mean they actually make handmade they actually make their own fish cake and their own fish ball and the fish cake has a very nice and bouncy bite texture to it which I quite enjoy and everything like I said goes very well together all very delicious all very yummy and if you do like this type of simple dishes this dish will not disappoint you up next is this store called Torico's and here they make one of my favorite items at this food center called Kuei Chak. And here is basically this mouth-sized pieces of deliciously braised ingredients. Braised until all the spices all penetrates into all these little pieces here. And this is a one person set with everything. Cost me $6.60. And here this Kuei Chak here, these noodles, they do it very well. Is soft and smooth and tender and when you take it down your throat it has a very nice throat feel to it and the noodles also firm enough that when you pick up with your chopstick it doesn't break easily and then you eat this here this dishes all these ingredients here with that nice little chili sauce which is spicy and a bit sour but what I must say first of all this dish here of all the these various items what you have you have um, 
pork skin, you have a pork belly, you have intestine, your stomach, you have tau pork, which is fried tofu, you even have a braised egg here. All the ingredients here, all braised very nicely, all to perfection. The ingredients here, like for example, the intestine, the big intestine, the small intestine, all done so nicely that when you bite into it, it breaks away almost instantly. It has a nice mouth chew to it, and then the pork belly too. No, and then here, the ingredients here absorbs all the nice braising stock, and it's also not too salty, salted just enough. Everything here, all the ingredients here, all done very well, and goes together very well also with the kejap. Here is one of my favorite dishes, like I told you. One of the better dishes here. The only reason why this shop is not more popular, and if you look at the queue of people who queue up for the food here, they are already they're more of the older generation because of the items like uh, pork skin here and the intestine. It's not a very um, young generation friendly item, and a lot of the younger generation doesn't like to eat uh, this dish. But here they do it very well, and here is one of my favorite dishes. I don't eat it often because of the this dish is not very healthy, but it's just so good, so delicious. And once in a while, when I want to indulge, I come here for this dish. And lastly, before we leave, let's have some dessert at this stall called Geylang Lorong 20 Banana Fritters. And here, they sell snacks, like the, uh, snacks, deep fried snacks that you can actually order and take away or eat at the stall. So they have a wide variety of different types of deep fried snacks but what I ordered from here is their banana fritter or goreng pisang. Here they use the raja banana which is a species of banana and each of these banana fritter cost me $1.50 and this is the banana fritter. First of all the batter here deep fried very well nice and crispy and crunchy which is very nice but because of the raja banana that they use so when I cut up this banana you can see here the cross section of the banana and somehow this raja banana when you deep fry it uh, also the depending on the ripeness of the banana is nice and sweet and certain part soft certain part caramelized done if you can get the banana at the right ripeness and deep fry it it's very delicious and here is a banana fritter which is a good dessert and so this brings us to the end of our part one yes part one of the ultimate food guide the ultimate hawker food guide for Old Airport Road Food Center. There is just so much good food here that I cannot fit it in only one part. So join me for the other parts coming up within the next few days. So be patient, more videos are coming. Anyway, thank you very much. And before you go, please do me a favor. Please help me by liking my video, sharing my video, and also subscribing to my channel. But lastly, the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next food adventure. I will see you there. Bye bye.